Hello, Leo, and welcome to your mid-December 2021 reading. Of course, anytime you get to this video is the right time for you. Remember to check your sun, moon, and rising. You can check your Jupiter, your Venus, Mars, whatever you connect with, whatever resonates for you in your chart, if you know your chart well and you know all the different placements and what they can connect to. You could actually look at the readings as advice for those particular parts of your chart. If you don't really know about your chart that well and you want to get to know your natal chart on some basic level with some intuitive guidance as well, you can book a session with me to do that um, or a personalized reading because this is a general reading and it may or may not resonate for you. Take only what resonates for you. <laughs> Okay, don't try to make yourself fit. Don't try to see stuff that's not there. Okay, I only say that because I've been there. <laughs> um, but I do hope that you come here to, at, some, at this time because you are guided by your guides. You are brought here to get a message, even if it's just one clarifying message here for you. Um, as I cast that net out into the space. Gathering up all the wisdom, connecting into that space, into that wisdom right now. Yes, our guides, our angels, our ancestors to protect this space. And to bring us what, I, what we need. And to use me as a divine channel. Okay. All right, Leo, let's see what comes up for you. What messages do you want to bring for our dear Leos? I'm going to ring this bell. So I'm already picking up on some energy. Whew, sometimes that happens. I'm going to let the cards come out before I start talking about it, though. Um, I'm going to take all these. Um, so what I'm feeling is I'm picking up on some Leos with that are processing intergenerational trauma. So if that's not your focus, that's not you. We all have intergenerational trauma and wisdom, okay? Gifts, blessings, and challenges. Um, and I feel like your guides are sort of, for this is whatever group of Leo I'm picking up on right now. Uh, so it may or may not resonate for you. But basically, just wanna get this chemistry here. Um, I'm feeling like just a sense of resentment that has been passed through it's like bottled up resentment that wasn't really processed around feeling inferior or feeling like you never really could be seen like feeling invisible in some way or feeling like you only had one role like i feel like there are some ancestors who they felt that they could only do this one thing or that one thing and you might be like repeating that cycle um about roles it could be gender roles i'm, I'm gonna drink some water It could be related to gender roles. It could be just really not allowed to do this or that. Whether it was a cultural norm, gender, you know, sexuality. Something that was repressed based on power dynamics or society or culture. And uh, your guides are encouraging you to transmute that by stepping out of that thing so you could be right now feeling like this is just what i have to do and feeling like it's your destiny and oh my god this just really fits but you're also like stressing and that's because you're probably doing something that has been done a million times in different ways you know like um like let's say you let's say you're a caretaker of some sort right let's say you work in that like kind of field of like caretaking like maybe you're babysitting or you're you know a live-in nanny or you um teach like little kids like kindergartners or something and, and you have to be there for them in a certain way right and maybe traditionally in your family like women have always had to do that so you have these like natural gifts that like are intuitively in there like it's like you can just be natural at this you're dra you're drawn to it but your guys are like yeah you're drawn to that yeah it's it's easy and hard at the same time because it's like a stressful thing it doesn't really align all the time but then there's other gifts that you have okay other gifts that you have that 
could be more fulfilling and your guides are trying to get you to do that so you could break out of this like lineage of this is the only thing i could do so it just keeps passing itself down but it might not be like fulfilling so i'm gonna get into the reading of the cards now maybe they'll have some um something to say about that so i'm feeling with the ace of wands here that's exactly how this reading starts there's just a new beginning a spark an interest uh, you're in you're something something kind of like pokes you you know like something kind of kind of wakes you up to, to this is like this new energy creative passionate it could be somebody it could be something it could be romantic it could be something just comes in strong in its energy towards you and it's divinely guided it, it came here because of your guide so it could show up in the form of a person place thing situation whatever but something has sparked newness in your life and what is coming up behind that is some messages some communication and also your own thoughts which are starting to stir you might you might you might suddenly feel like oh my god i realized that i had to connect with this person because we have something to do like let's say you abandon a project or a relationship or a connection or whatever and your guides are like do it different then it's been done so let's say that this isn't about a job and it's about a relationship and you know your guides are like this is how we've always done relationships why don't you actually do something different and you suddenly get this inspiration to do something different it also behind the scenes i feel like your guides are trying to rearrange something in your life so you need whatever you're spending most of your time on your guides are saying take a second because there's something else you need to pause and deal with and as you do that, your guides are going to like rearrange some stuff. So if you come back to, let's say you're at your workspace, you know, you're like working on, you know, the blueprint for a building. And then you get up to go have a conversation that, you know, call somebody you haven't spoken to in a long time. You come back to it and the blueprint looks different <laughs> than it was. You know, let's say somebody spilled coffee on it and you're like, you know what? After everybody in this office, I'm over this. Um... I've been working on this for weeks, but because that coffee spilt on it, it changed something that needed to be changed and spirit needed to move through a, a physical vessel to do it. Um, you know, I, I feel like that's what I'm picking up on. It's like some kind of work that you're working on, but it needs you need to stop staring at it. You need to stop staring. If you're an artist, really stop staring. If you're in a relation, if it's a relationship thing, if it's a work thing, if it's whatever it is, you know what it is. You have to admit it to yourself. You have to step out of denial a little bit about how much you're spending attention on that. And just like take a break and deal with other things that are happening in your life that need attention. Okay, because those things are there for your highest good and to break some patterns and curses. And, and you're actually breaking those patterns because you asked to be that. You asked maybe in this life to be the disruptor, the one who changes things. Sorry, crack my knuckles. So hopefully that's not annoying um and then we have this three of pentacles here which i think is saying that um yeah i just feel like you have more of your abilities that need to be in like it's like you don't have to focus only on one thing like maybe you have many talents or different things your life or maybe your life has just been like focused on work or focused on a relationship or focused on one like whatever it is it's focused on one thing and you're not letting yourself get back to this to the sources of stuff like let's say if you got a really great idea three years ago five years ago whatever and you went with it and you started like you created this piece of art and then you made all these graphic design prints of it um that's cool but then you have to go back to that space of inspiration because there might be something new for you to discover you know like don't leave that other part that creative part of you behind and keep replicating the same things you did before we also have the six of pentacles here i think this is saying that there are people who are needing the gifts you need to bring forward but you have to know what those gifts are you have to like connect to those gifts um and I also see that this is you being of service in some way. I feel like you could be helping others by just being kind, generous, giving in a very small way. It doesn't have to be elaborate. Like you might be overthinking how you have to do things. So you don't even do them at all. You're like, oh, if I call this person, then I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to take them to dinner. Or, or maybe it's just like literally just calling and saying hi. You know what I mean? Or maybe you're like, um... 
I don't know, like you're, you're like, oh, it's Christmas or whatever. Like, you know, if you celebrate Christmas, you're like, oh, if I go to this party, I'm going to have to bring everybody a gift. And it's like, or you could just bring like, you know, a bottle of wine if people drink wine. Or you could bring like some snacks or like, uh, you know, like, I don't know. Like, it doesn't have to be all that. Or if you just bring things for people you know and not worry about what other people are going to think. And if they have some feelings about it, they have some feelings about it. It's unfortunate. People are going to have feelings. Surprise. Um, but yeah, just doing what's necessary and what's 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 really in your heart. And maybe a positive gesture. You could be bringing something into a balance. Like, you know, some kind of karmic balance here where like people you were once given to and now it's time for you to give. You know what I mean? Like you, you were offered something and now it's time for you to offer. I see that in the Six of Pentacles. Like, you know, I see this card as... um. Oh, damn. Let me plug in. Give me one second. All right, Leo, thanks for being patient. So, yes, I see this card usually as like somebody has stepped out of a place of needing into a place of abundance. And of course, they're not exact. They're not the Ten of Pentacles. They're not exactly where they want to be in their goals or their finances or whatever or whatever position, whatever path they're on. But they are far enough along that they've stabilized themselves six is a very stabilized number is very even like you know grounded rooted energy and you might be in a place where you're able to just give something you know and maybe you are maybe this is about presence and that you could be like giving people presents that have in the past given you things but we also have the everything is fine the ten of swords Ooh, this card is rough because I feel like this is how you might be feeling inside a little bit um, or this is how somebody's feeling that is in your midst and you just maybe don't want to deal with it. You're just like, I I'm in a, I'm doing my thing. Like, I don't want to deal with this person's like anxiety or depression. Maybe it's like a parent or a partner or a friend. But I feel like it's also like somebody that's not really in your life, actually. I feel like this person and you are not talking right now or not connecting. Um, and they could just be like in a place and you're just imagining that they're just like you know or maybe you're communicating with them and you're, and it's just like the communication is not going so well let me get a clarifying card here for everything is fine spirit guys angels ancestors what are you trying to tell leo what's the clear message for leo around everything is fine Okay, so we have the Ace of Cups and the Empress. What a different vibe when we clarify the Ten of Swords. Interesting. So this is Libra, Taurus energy. And then this is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but also just like water and Venus energy, which is like emotion, psychic awareness, abundance, beauty, finances, a sense of power, inner power, empowerment. Um, I feel like this is saying that like, you know, you might be thinking that something or someone is some way, but they're actually not. Like you, maybe you're imagining that this is what's happening, but it's actually not. Or this is what you're feeling inside, but this is what you're showing the world. Or this is really your truth, but you're still having those moments and you're getting lost in those moments thinking that that's entirely what's happening. And for some of you Leos, these are two different people. So for some of the, your Leos, you're, I feel like your guides are saying that you have two different people here or two different situations. One of them is bringing you a lot of abundance and joy and connection and just feeling empowered and attracted, passionate. And another situation where it might, might be bringing you a lot of anxiety. And you have this opportunity to step away from whatever is not bringing you fulfillment and to step into a space where you can like really um, pay attention to your self-care, self-love, like go towards where you're still loving yourself. You know, like if you're if you find that it's hard to be around a certain situation, person or experience because you're not really loving yourself when you do that, then you have to prioritize you. OK, so a relationship can be an indication, a job, a place, anything can be an indication of like the levels of love you have for yourself. And sometimes we don't want to let go of something because 
we're having a hard time detaching, but to do so would mean like loving ourselves more, you know? So for some of you Leos, you're moving on from a relationship. It's taking time. You know, spirit has been conjuring, connecting and releasing and doing all kinds of different things in your, in your environment to help you. Um, and I feel like, you know, you are going to be victorious in whatever you do. You are going to take the high road in some way. Like, I feel like this is what this is saying. Like, you know, like you're taking the high road on something here. And, um, I think you're going to actually communicate to somebody. You might come in a little bit for some, okay. Alrighty. For some of you, you might come in a little hot trying to be like, you know, I don't know if this is a, a booty call text, okay? But you're just, some of you are just like, I, <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? But you might feel passionately towards somebody, you know, you might feel really interested in somebody, but you know, you got to remember to stand in your power. You could be like the Knight of Wands. And I think there was another video where I said I had a crush on the Knight of Wands in this deck. <laughs> um, but you could be the Knight. You could be the Knight of Wands or the King of Wands, you know? And I think what's happening here is that the Knight of Wands usually represents like fiery energy or like kind of like, you know, like trying to get in and like have sex or like a one night stand or just like lusting. And the King of Wands is like creative, you know, and empowered and just really about um, being in touch with both sides. I feel like the King of Wands is very much in touch with the masculine and feminine energies of themselves and um they're able to like transform things they're very fiery and passionate still but they don't come in as strong like they have a little bit more reserve but i do think that this energy is calling you to go in quickly but you might need to be more like in alignment with why you're doing this i think it's like have the knight of wands energy in terms of the movement but have the king of wands vibe in terms of who you are as a person you know, like come in strong, but with good intentions and the outcome will be the tower. Um, your guide's saying like, yeah, you need to do something. You have not been taking care of something and whatever this is that you let just take its course or whatever, your guides are like, well, we're demolishing that. Um, and it'll be for everyone's greater good, whatever the situation is, letting go, release, like a lighter side, a brighter side, um, just walking away from something and a rebirth that's coming about. Like, you know, uh, let's see if there's any other messages that want to come out for you, Leo. Let's see what the messages are for you, Leo. We have the moon card. Um, let me put these together here. I feel like this is really cool. We have the sun and the moon out now. I think that you're just like one minute. Maybe you're having some kind of like back and forth. Or this could be like two different groups of people. You could be like one minute like everything's fine. Like I got it all figured out. Like yeah, I got this. Like and then another minute being like oh my god. Like there's actually more to figure out. I got to figure this out. I got to know I gotta know this. I got to know that. And your guides are like yeah, no. It's like all that energy that you... Um, I feel like if you're spending a lot of time alone, you might be noticing what you project into the spaces you're around because now you're alone with all your stuff. Like you're alone with your thoughts. You're alone. Like check in on your energy. Like where do you spend your time? What lo really look at your day? Not just the not just the stuff that's productive or like stuff that you like pat yourself on the back about. Um, but just everything, just like have a new perspective. I feel like this is like, you know, there's so many gems in your midst of whatever you're doing. I feel like you could be like, like, you know, don't worry about figuring it all out. I think just take a step forward um, and let, let like your guides also connect with you. So here's the King of Cups, which is Scorpio, Pisces, um, Cancer energy. You could be dealing with a water sign or connecting to a water sign. You could have water in your chart. And the thing is, is that you're also becoming more emotionally mature. I feel like this is saying like your rebirth, the sun card is like whenever you let go of whatever you need to let go of, you go through like some kind of rebirth and you're able to like really integrate some parts of yourself and find joy in your own company um, through that sitting through that discomfort of what you whatever you go through when you're alone, like whatever that was that you're going through when you're alone. Um, you may get some kind of like spiritual upgrade or spiritual awakening with the Hierophant here. Uh, you might just be like really changing things up in your life, you know. 
Um, but you do have to sit with the discomfort. You have to sit with the feelings, sit with whatever's coming up. And it's just like, oh, why can't I just escape into like, you know, whatever you escape into sex, drugs, freaking venting, like, I don't know, rage. Like there's all kinds of stuff we escape into, you know, like scrolling on TikTok. But your guys are like, for some reason, they're like, I don't know what they're doing to you, but they're like making you face something. And while, they, while they're making you face it, it's like with that tower card and like, you know, all the energies that are popping up here, I feel like they're doing it for your highest good. Like when you come out of that discomfort, it's like old stuff that just pops up and then you're going to be in a better state of mind and you're going to be in your strength, okay? You're going to be strong enough to really take things differently. I feel like you're going to have some kind of balance in your life, you know, uh, which is really amazing and congratulations on whatever it is that you're healing and doing and working on leo and if you're not there yet this might be a reading for another timeline another group or you could be heading there and when it's your time it's your time or you could be coming out of that space so what we're going to do now is pull an angel oracle card and then a t oracle and we're going to close up we're going to see what the angels have to say for leo what message do you have? Well, two of them came out and they're exactly what I was saying. Surrender and release and retreat. That's exactly vi the vibe of your reading. Like you're going to get a lot of really great things from just doing this. All right. So let me read what the messages are here in the book. I'm going to ring the bell. Ooh. Surrender and release. Let go and allow God and the angels to help you. Everything that you release will either be replaced by something better or will re be returned to you healed. When you hold on tightly to a part of your life that's not working, it has no room to heal. Whether you're unhappy with your love life, finances, career, home, or health, this card asks you to let go. If you hang on to these aspects of your life because of fear, such as, what if I can't find someone or something better, then the situation will only worsen. However, if you're willing to open your hands and allow the situation to be freed, one of two situations will occur. Either you will be washed away, either it will be washed away from you and replaced by better situations, or the situation will heal in a miraculous way. By drawing this card, the angels ask you to try not to control the outcome of your troubling situation. Let go and let God, Goddess, Great Spirit, help you. Wow, Leo, that's exactly what your reading was like. It's like the tower is coming, but you're still struggling through that. You might just need to really let it happen and go with the flow on this and let go. Let go of the things that don't, that you know your guys just, if you really looked at it, you would see them pulling on that and you're just holding on. They're just like, just let go. Just let us take this for a second. Let us deal with this, okay? Let's take this person, this job, this situation, this apartment, whatever it is. Let's just, come on, let me take it because they're, they're, try, they're doing it. They're going to do it. So. And they're doing it to serve you. Okay. The next card is retreat. Spend some time alone in quiet thought. Clear your mind and focus on your truth and, pri and priorities. Are you pushing yourself too hard, beloved child of God? The angels remind us that rest is a natural cycle in every living thing. Think of the mighty oak tree that grows and spurts and then rests. It draws its nourishment from deep within the earth and takes its time before growing in upward again. Like the oak tree, it's important for you to nourish yourself with spiritual and emotional food. While you are resting, take time to reflect on your heart's true feelings and desires. Your angels speak to you through your heart. And when you listen to and honor your feelings, you walk hand in hand with God, Goddess, Source, and the angels. You will know that, this is, that it is true divine guidance and not just your imagination or wishful thinking if it speaks of your desire to make a difference in the world. Wow, that's beautiful. 
Let's get a T Oracle. We always get like I'm like, well, let's get a tea oracle, and then half the half of them in here are also fortune cookies. So it's a fortune, and it says, "Practice random kindness and senseless acts of beauty." And that was the six of pentacles for you. So I feel like the tower card is repeating itself, and like the need to like retreat away. I think that was part of your reading as well, like just taking time away from something, and just like you're gonna spend some time with some dis just uncomfortable feelings and just like have a really clear view of how you're projecting things into your space and your world and your relationships and your work that are happening inside of you and when you spend some time alone then you'll stop like maybe blaming other people and see where you can like make the changes that are sometimes challenging but you can get help for that you know I think there might be some things that just are like need some support in your life so practice kindness and senseless acts of beauty. I think that's the six of pentacles, like I said. So like maybe just being of service in the ways that you can, not pushing yourself or for some kind of validation or to look like you have this, that, or the other, you know, come as you are if you're going to do whatever you're doing. Um, thank you so much, Leo. I'm sending you so much love. I'm trying to keep it really real with you. <laughs> Trusting that your guides got you and that you will take what you need from this reading release the rest and stay in compassion with yourself okay or for yourself all right take care